Business owners picking up the pieces tonight, at least trying. After that historic Russian River flooding swept through thousands of structures, Nightbeat's Wilson Walker shows us the scene in Guerneville. Well, for the people most affected by this flooding, this was really the first day to come back and start taking stock of things. And no matter how bad the situation was for people, there was something I heard time and time again. This is just part of life on the river. It just came in here like rushing water. <laughs> For Nicole and her family, the water soared into the second floor of their home, which is now yellow tagged. It's a cat. His name's Poof. And despite all the mess and mud and ruined belongings, they say they will be just fine. And yeah, I mean, it is a part of living here, especially living in a flood zone. You kind of just have to expect this to possibly happen to you one day. February of 86. January 95. February Mark Buck knows floods. He says this kind of cleanup at his Guerneville shop is a little routine for him now. The county didn't want a tin shed, so we had to build it out of the masonry. Good thing we did. This is my grandfather's truck. I've been in my family since 83. I have to restore, I have to tear everything back down. William Edwards will have to start over on his family heirloom, but he too was quick to say that this is the price one pays for living here. Yeah, it, it's true. You got to be a trooper to live out here and deal with all this stuff, and you got to be committed to it. This was going to be opening day for you. This was a uh, weekend, yeah, this weekend. Starting today and tomorrow. For Roger Hicks, opening day at the Village Inn and Restaurant will have to wait. The flood swept through the ground floor of his business, but he says this is just the nature of the relationship with the beautiful yet occasionally temperamental Russian River. Yeah, 99% of the time it's great. And so you get these little blips in the radar, ah, you go through it, it's no big deal. Just clean up, I mean, we're cleaning up. We're gonna make it presentable and safe for the people around here, the locals and the customers that come in and the tourists, and we'll be rolling in a couple weeks or less. On the Russian River in Monte Rio, on the night beat, I'm Wilson Walker.